I love that song. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Driving with John Chow. And today I want to give you a little update on my, uh, my weight loss exercise diet program. I started it, uh, I guess, about oh, a couple of weeks back and didn't realize much progress in the beginning, but now I'm, I'm better. I'm down eight pounds and my body uh, fat ratio is, I believe, down to about 14% body fat. So I'm seeing progress. And while I was working out, I was thinking about, you know, how exercise and working out is very, very similar to blogging and internet marketing. Now, you may think they're not related at all, but actually, you know, they, they do have a lot of things in common. And I came up with six things that exercising and blogging, internet marketing have in common. And these are the six things that I actually came off the top of my head while I'm, I'm creating this episode. I'm sure there are more, but uh, so I can pick up right now. But anyway, I want to go over them with you. First of all, blogging and exercising or working out both require effort. In bodybuilding, you know, you heard the old saying, no pain, no gain. Well, that pretty much also applies to um, blogging as well. I mean, the blog, not going to update itself. It's not going to run the banner ads for you. It's not going to update itself. You, have, you need to put forth effort if you want to succeed. And I suppose that's true for every, anything, anything really, but especially true with working out and that's just true of internet marketing. You, it, we, both require effort. You don't put forth the effort, you're not going to see the gain and you're not going to see the results. All right, so that's the, that's the first thing. You have to you require effort. The second thing is you have to keep at it. Yeah, you definitely have to keep at it. You cannot be an on-again, off-again blogger. I see it happen all the time. You know, someone gets excited, they start a blog, they blog like crazy the first week, and then second week they start slowing down, and then it's once every other few days, and once every week, and then once every month, and then they stop blogging. And they don't see the results. Well, you know, working out is the same way. If all you do is work out once, and then that's it, so you, don't, you don't see a result from the first workout. You gotta stick at it. It's like, I see every time, New Year's, New Year's, you ever seen those uh, New Year's resolution people, you know, they go join a fitness club because you're not gonna make a New Year's resolution to get in shape. And you see on first week, they're there every single day. And then second week, there's less people. Third weeks, even less. My fourth week, they're all gone. You know what the funny thing was? The funny thing is, they still, they keep paying for the membership because they think they'll go back someday, <laughs> you know. Fitness clubs love people like love those kind of people. You know, that's where they make the money from. They pay, they don't come. Right. And but you, you keep at it if you want to see results. Right. So if you, you want you want to see results in your workout, you gotta keep at it. You gotta keep doing it. I, I ride my bike every single day now, and I'm seeing the results. I blog every single day. I see the results. You go, you do it on again, off again. You're not gonna see the results. So that's uh, number two. Number three you will hit a plateau. This is very, very common when you're doing weightlifting. Eventually, you're gonna hit a plateau and you find that you cannot bench press anymore. You know, when I first started going to the gym, I see progress and I keep benching more than five pounds more, five pounds more, five pounds more, and suddenly I hit a plateau. I can't go anymore no matter what happens. And that will happen to your blog as well. Eventually, what's going to happen? Your blog will plateau. You're going to hit a traffic plateau, or you're going to hit an income plateau. And that happened to my blog quite a few times. You know, when I was first doing the income case study, I hit a plateau. I couldn't get past 10 grand a month. No, what I try. And same thing with uh, working out. I hit a plateau. I couldn't bench press any more than that amount of weight. The way to get out of a plateau, of course, is to mix it up. Try different things. So, you know, instead of trying to bench, instead of trying different breath press, I would try doing it different ways. I try working on a different muscle group, and then you go back to it and find you'll, you'll, you'll be able to break through the plateau. Well, the same thing with a blog. You know, if you hit, a, if you hit an income plateau in your blog or a traffic plateau, mix it up. Start trying different things. Redesign the blog. 
Start a contest, try different marking techniques, different stuff, mixing it up to break out that plateau and then uh, you'll, you'll find that you'll break through the plateau and you'll, you'll continue to grow. Right. Number four, real life networking. You know, when I'm riding a bike, I meet a lot of other bike riders and they're riding the bike as well. And this social interaction keeps me motivated and keeps me going. And I bump into the same people every single day riding my bike. <laughs> but so, and it's good. Social interaction, meeting like-minded people, keeps you going, keeps you focused, keeps you motivated. Well, blogging is the same way. I meet tons and tons of other bloggers and uh, we network with each other and we keep mo and we motivate each other, we help each other. Sometimes we do it through uh, Twitter, the social networks like Facebook, but it's a great way to meet like-minded people. So uh, whether you're doing a blogging, internet marketing, you're gonna meet like-minded people. Uh, whether you're working out, you can also meet like-minded people as well. And that brings us to number five. There were no shortcuts. No shortcuts at all. Uh, everyone, they're looking for the shortcut. Uh, they're looking for that miracle weight loss pill or that miracle muscle gaining pill. And in internet marketing is the same thing. Everyone's looking for that push button solution that's gonna make them rich overnight. Uh, truth of the matter is, there's no shortcut, okay? If you, if you want to get in shape, there's no shortcut. You just, you gotta do it. And I, I find that uh, working out actually takes more effort than blogging. Because uh, now, so, some, some people say that it doesn't take more effort. It just takes a different type of effort. And that might be true because, you know, working out is physical while blogging is more mental. But the thing is, you know, I can pay someone to blog for me. Uh, I can't pay someone to work out for me. <laughs> well, I guess I could, but that kind of defeats the entire purpose of working out, eh? <laughs> so, yeah. There, there's no shortcut, and if you want to see results, you just you just gotta do it. There's no there's no shortcut in this kind of stuff, and that brings us to the sixth and final point of how blogging and working out are related, and that is uh, it gets easier over time. I remember the first week I'm on my bike, I'm riding my bike, I was just in pain. My legs were killing me. I was exhausted. Uh, I did not want to do it. But the second week, you know, it was the pain was less and it got a little easier. And now I get on the bike, it's feeling pretty natural now. I, as a matter of fact, it's something from my habit. I get kind of upset if I don't get on the bike today and I go riding, I feel strained. Well, blogging is the same way. At first you might think I'm writing blog posts, what I'm gonna write about, I got no idea, uh, my spelling is terrible, etc. But you know, over time, like everything else, it will get easier. And coming up with a blog post idea will get easier. In the beginning, yes, it takes effort, it takes time, you gotta work it out. But the more you do it, as long as you keep doing it and you don't quit, the key point there, you don't quit. If you keep at it and you don't quit, you will realize results from both your blogging success and your workout success, right? So that's it for today. This is John Chow from johnchow.com, and I will see you guys on the next episode of Driving with John Chow. And please leave me your comments, and do subscribe to my channel.